So who is your real estate agent? <laughs> oh, Mary Jane. I'm afraid that is classified information. Like so much of your life, Mr. Sinclair. Oh, no, no. My life is an open book. With a restricted chapter. Just a few rather complicated stories. Mm-hmm. And one. And two. And three. And four. And five. I can see you, Mr. Flabby. You're slacking. Get it up. Come on. Get it up. And seven. Get it up. <laughs> Next thing, we're going to put a 976 four. number on the screen. Come on. Actually, the house belongs to a friend. I borrowed it because I knew you'd like the garden. Oh, it's beautiful. In fact, I'd say it was nearly perfect. Only nearly. Come on, work with me and make it burn. And burn. 10, 11, you know what a burn is. 12. What can I do to make it better? You could turn off the lights and turn on the jacuzzi. I can arrange that. All right. Take a breather for all these slackers. I'm going to demonstrate the next exercise. We're going to work on those tries. Grab your weights, bend over at the waist, get those elbows up. Is that better? Not quite. It's just a wee bit lonely in here. Oh, well. I guess I can arrange that, too. And As investigators make their way to the wreckage of a 707 cargo plane that went down in remote Newfoundland, terrorist group Red Strike claimed responsibility for the bombing, which is believed to have claimed the lives of 50 men on board, plus the crew. Some of the victims were members of the Navy's elite SEAL Squad No. 7, returning from a training mission in the Middle East. A Defense Department spokesman, Colonel Jack Devon, made this comment early this morning. Red Strike, an offshoot of Black November, made it known to us that this bombing was in retaliation for renewed American support of Israel. Devon, Devon promised more details as soon as they become available. evil, no matter where, no matter when, and no matter what the cost.
Calling for Peter. Please leave a message after the beep. Pete, um, I just wanted to let you know I'm not going to make the SAS advanced training in Bridgestone. Um, I'll talk to you later. Stone. Stone. Sorry, Pete. Come on, Stan, don't do this to me. Another paragraph in your complicated story. <laughs> I sincerely hope not. Where did you ever learn that little trick? An artist I once met told me that feeling painting is the ultimate way to experience it. Well, don't try it at any other gallery unless you happen to be good friends with the curators there, too. I wouldn't think of it, Sean. Do you know many curators? Maybe we should discuss that later. Over dinner, perhaps. Yes, Peter. <laughs> Did Stone call? No. But he's at that training session in Bridgestone. No, that's what worries me. He left a message to say that he wasn't going. How come? He's had that plan for months. Yeah, I know. That's what's so strange. Look, tell JJ to be on standby for you and see if anyone else has been contacted by Stone. Right. I suppose lunch is out of the question. I am afraid so, Sean. Thank you for today. Maybe we can do it again sometime. Maybe. There's a Chagall I know. Chagall? Maybe. How about a Picasso? I give you a Picasso. I think about it. If you need anything, you let me know. Stone. The old rock of Gibraltar. You know, it's funny. Almost every time he walked out that door on a mission, I told myself, that's it. I said you're never gonna see him again. It's all right. It's all right. I'm sorry. I didn't want to do this. It's okay. Now don't worry about it. Go ahead. If you need anything, any help with the arrangements, anything like that, you let me know, all right? The defense department said they would take care of everything. When's the funeral? I haven't scheduled a funeral yet, pending an investigation. What, they didn't release the bodies? So it, it's just like when he was alive. All I have to do is sit and wait. Who calls you? Devin? <laughs> you know anything about Brad's mission? Oh. Believe me, this time I would tell you if I knew. I have this weird feeling that something isn't... You're right. Now, if you don't need me too much, I'm gonna go do a little digging. All right? Okay? Okay. <laughs> Right. 
please don't do anything stupid. It won't bring him back. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Well, you didn't see me. You understand? Yeah. Take care of your mom. so far as the official story issued by Colonel Devon about the Red Strike terrorist group. But I just faxed your names and addresses of all the men in Stone Seal team. Eight of them were on the plane. Well, it doesn't take a genius to figure out what set Mr. Stone off. He's obviously suspicious about something. I hope he's not out for revenge. If Red Strike is connected to Black November, they're bound to be a vicious organization. Well, I know he won't bury his friends without finding out why they died. You got that name for me? Sure, but, um... But what? You got the money? Give me the name. Name's Perel, Silas Perel. And? Works at a car wash at Connecticut and 3rd near the zoo. Car wash, that figures. Keep your mouth shut for 48 hours. Hey, Don, I just want the outside of the car done. I'm very particular about this car. So if I got any problems, who do I see? Uh, see the guy up against the wall there with the glasses? Name's Silas. All right. Thanks, bud. Can I show you something over here real quick? Yeah, sure, sure. Right inside here, you let, me, let me show you something here. See that seat belt, the far seat belt right over there? Can you check that out? It's sticking on me a little bit. Hey! Nice cover you got here, Silas. Who the hell are you? I'm nobody, but you. You're the ops officer for Red Strike, am I right? Who told you this? Somebody's so good it doesn't pay to deny it. What's your beef, man? My beef, Silas. Eight SEALs were killed in an airplane crash in Newfoundland. Buddies of mine. Real good buddies. And you killed them. No, man, no. Really, really, Red Strike didn't have nothing to do with that. I swear it. Convince me. That flight, man, that flight was from Oberhammen. Do you know Oberhammen? Germany. A military base. Oberhammen is a first strike base. Nukes, top secret. So? Look at me, man. You think that I could crack a top secret U.S. military installation? No way. You're still not telling me anything. No, man, I'm telling you the truth. All right, Silas. Tell me something else. Why, huh? Why a plane load of SEALs, huh? You'd get better PR out of a commercial flight, right? Who framed you? Give me a name. I'm listening. Hi. Stone. Okay, okay, man, okay. Damn you, Stone.
Well, if Stone came up here, somebody's bound to remember him. Hello. What's this? Sorry, sir, the road's closed. You'll have to turn back. Does it have anything to do with the crash? I'm sorry, sir. My orders are that the road is closed, period. We're looking for a friend of ours who might have come up here. Well, nobody's been up this road in the last 36 hours, sir. I know that for a fact. Do you have a command post up here? Command post, sir? Someone you report to, soldier. I'm sorry, that's classified, sir. Now just turn your vehicle around, please. Pentagon's denying there's any new information on the crash. Yeah, and I'll bet they're denying the presence of American soldiers on the site, too. Huh? Oh, absolutely. Never heard of them. Push ahead, Peter. Okay, sir. We'll head out now. Fancy a stroll in the woods? <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. You are incorrigible. Contamination suits. Yeah, I can see. The why? They're burying the wreckage, not digging it up. I don't know, it's most bizarre. Over. Oh, 
Damn it, you'll make us. Come on, out of here. Langley, David. Driver's taking a nap, Colonel. Stone. Long time no see. You lost your mind, Stone? Hope you realize we're not alone here. Got a two-part question for you, Devin. Who blew up the plane and why? Don't be a fool, Stone. See you later. Watch Whatever Happened to Weekends at 11.30. In TV Tropolis, the fun never stops. Ah. It just keeps going. Ah. And going. That was awesome. With a Family Guy marathon. This is going to be so much fun. All day Saturday starting at noon in TV Tropolis. It TV lives here. Brought to you by the all-new 2008 Subaru Impreza. The Japanese car the Germans wish they'd made. Look at me. I am in a size two again. I haven't had this smoking hot body since I was in college. I'm a mother of three and a grandmother. You can't miss the results of new Nutrisystem Advanced, the new weight loss program that helps you eat great and lose weight. I'm a 40-year-old mom, and I think I look better than ever. Call or go online now to order and start losing weight today. Plus, first-time buyers are eligible to get one full week of Nutrisystem meals free. I love the pizza, the burgers, lasagna, and the chocolate. With the Nutrisystem Advantage, the foods you love, pizza, lasagna, and chocolate are not off limits. My husband loves my new body. Nutrisystem delivers every meal to your door. And with our auto delivery program, the shipping is included. I love it, I love it, I love it. For about $12 a day, you'll enjoy delicious, portioned for weight loss, Nutrisystem food. For the first time in a long time, I love to prance around in a bikini. First time buyers are eligible to receive an extra seven breakfasts, seven lunches, Lunches, seven dinners, seven desserts. One full week of food absolutely free. Call now. Hey, Greta, what's cooking? Dempster's Whole Grains. Good. A healthy diet low in saturated and trans fats may reduce the risk of heart disease. Dempster's Whole Grains are low in saturated and trans fats. Are you reading that right off the bag? Yeah, but it's the whole grain truth. And look, it has the Health Check logo so you know it's a smart choice. With Dempster's Whole Grains, great taste and nutrition are in the bag. Any way you slice it. Visit <laughs> Dempsters.ca to learn how to get a free Eat, Shrink, and Be Merry cookbook. Plus, enter to win a VIP weekend, including an evening with Janet and Greta. I bet you've got a few things around the house that aren't working like they should. I'm going to show you how a little CLR can make them work like new again. If your shower dribbles like this, you might think it's a pressure problem. How do you solve it? CLR it, and then let's see.
like I thought. Hard water buildup. Now you've got a shower you can get wet in. I'll show you how easily CLR takes the rust off this tub. CLR works like magic, cleaning up all kinds of lime, calcium, and hard water buildup. Let's move on to the kitchen. Coffee pots are the worst culprits for hard water buildup. CLR it. Swish a little through, and it looks like new. CLR's patented formula works fast on lots of appliances like humidifiers and washing machines. Guaranteed or your money back. So before you call the plumber or have a garage sale, CLR it instead. All kinds of dirty, one kind of clean. At participating Canadian Tire, home hardware and building centers, Real Canadian Superstores, Loblaws, Zellers, Safeway, Shoppers Drug Mart, Co-op Stores, Pro Ace, True Value Hardware, VNS, London Drugs, Home Depot. Bull Rock. This is your last warning. After this, all bets are off. He went up the stairs. Got it. Americans were invited in, requested by the Canadians. Convenient. And of course, no mention of a contamination crew. No, none whatsoever. Well, Gabrielle's running some tests. What about Stone? Well, at the moment, the Washington police are inquiring into his employment with us. It seems they want to question him in connection with a murder investigation. What murder? The operation officer for Red Strike was hit. Uh, it seems that everyone's playing hardball on this one, sir. Yeah. I think we better save our big guns until we find Stone. He's the key to this whole thing. Roger. Get your clothes up. I beg your pardon? DRD counter. I found out what that contamination team is doing there. So what's the level of radioactive gamma? It's low. But we've both been exposed. Ah, oh, damn it. The photos confirm it. They're all foggy. Well, now we know why the army is there. We also have a damn good idea what's driving Stone crazy. Once again, it seems as though his instincts are right. I'll take your pants off. All in good time. There's nothing more dangerous than an overzealous ex-seal. He held a loaded weapon three inches from my face. What the hell is he doing here? You tell me. Revenge? Blackmail? I know he's on to something. That rock's a pit bull. You'll need a lead pipe to get rid of him. What do you think that hump told him at the car wash? Uh, he didn't know anything to tell. Stone's on a fishing trip. Well, if he finds the right spot, he could land a big one. Don't worry. He won't. Oh, I am worried. Well, very worried. Stone could blow up our whole operation could be worse than the end of the line for both of us. How much time have I got? You know exactly how much time we've got. Our payoff is less than 24 hours. Do it. Contact the local cops. Give me everything they have on stone. No problem. You just get to stone before they do. Lieutenant Bellows is our Washington contact. I'll let him know you're on your way.
the two bad guys on the right. Yeah. Up by the hooch. Right. Third and long, Bull. What do you say, Hail Mary? Work for the Vikes? Against Dallas. Huh. No Gus, no glory, Rock. said Hail Mary. I hate the Vikes. I'm a Cowboys fan. Come on, get up. <laughs> Hail Mary, a stone. It's pass it, Fran Tarkin. I know damn well what a Hail Mary is. What I want to know is how it got into an engagement report. Some kind of sick joke, sailor? No, sir. But you asked. What? Then? I want you and Bull to rewrite this report in a language that any layman can understand. Military language, Stone. Sea language! Got me. Yes, yes, sir. I lose one man for eight weeks, and the mission is nearly jeopardized because you two took this mission a little too damn lightly. Yes, sir. Permission to ask a question, sir. What? What was the purpose of our mission, sir? The nature of that assignment was classified. You know damn well what that means. Yes, sir. Bull? Yes, sir. Well, just for my peace of mind, so. What does classified mean to you? Sir, the mission in question never happened, and if it did, I know nothing about it, sir. Rewrite the report, Stone. Dismissed. Lieutenant, Stone did not murder anybody. I'm not saying he did. All I want to do is question him. But where is this coming from? His fingerprints were all over the place. The victim was last seen in Stone's car, and I've got it from witnesses. They weren't discussing the weather. No, no, that's not the answer to my question. If Stone didn't do it, he sure as hell knows who did. Look, it was a pro job, a military job. A military job? Your friend's into something big. I have no proof of that. But I know when the Defense Department asked to see my files, something's up. Lieutenant Laundry. <laughs> Lieutenant. Hold on. Will you do me a favor? Yeah, yeah. We'll call you when we pick him up. But to save Stone's skin, you better call me first if you find him first. Okay. Fair deal. What you got? I'm afraid that everything on the crash has already been released to the press, Ms. Germain. Uh, all I've seen so far is a bunch of accusations and uh, some 20-year-old stock footage on Black November and Red Strike. Like the rest of your information, it's designed to be obscure. It's the best we can do at this time. Why would Red Strike be interested specifically in this SEAL team? I have no explanations for the senseless acts of terrorism, Ms. Germain. Where were the SEALs coming from? Training maneuvers. As is indicated in our press release. Where? In the Middle East. They were doing a weapons refit. What kinds of weapons? The weapons were appropriate to the qualifications of the seventh. I assume the men would be buried in Arlington National Cemetery? And when would that be? Just as soon as the investigations are completed. Is part of the investigation to determine if uh, what was on that plane could contaminate the entire area? I'd prefer not to speculate on what the investigators might find at this time. Then you deny the site is radioactive? I'd prefer not to speculate at this time. Now, if you don't mind, Miss Yemo. <laughs> You're very good at this, aren't you? If you mean my job, 
Yes, I'm very good at it. Oh, I have to be. The lives of some very good men depend on me, Ms. Germain. Now, if you like, I can arrange to show you some videotape on the crash site. It's very kind of you. Miss Stewart. Yes, sir? Take Miss Germain to the press room and show her the Newfoundland tape. Right away, sir. Oh, one more thing. I'd like to make sure that I have your position and your full title correct. You can call me Defense Department spokesman. Colonel T.C. Devon, D-E-V-O-N. Have a good day, Miss Germain. Thank you, Colonel. She knows too much. Find her car and rake it. Right away, sir. Stone, where are you? Where is that exactly? Everyone yakking about yak long distance? Well, there are no contracts, no hidden fees, no monthly fees, period. Just press 1010 yak before the long distance number and get our best rates ever. Rock bottom rates. A million Canadians use yak because it's reliable and just so yak and cheap. So, <clears throat> save on long distance and get our best rates ever. Over the next five years, there will be 1.2 million new jobs in the fields of healthcare, technology, business, education, trade, and others. This can be a great opportunity for you because thanks to ICS, International Career School, Canada's largest accredited school of independent study, you could train for one of these jobs in as little as six months. Study at home, online, in print, or a combination of both. You decide which method best suits your learning style. All the materials are delivered directly to you and included in your tuition. At ICS, you study independently, but not alone. Expert faculty and support staff are just a phone call or email away. ICS also offers customized monthly payment plans with 0% financing. And when you graduate, take advantage of ICS career services. Get access to job searches, interviewing tips, we'll even help you write your resume. Call now or visit us online to choose any of these healthcare programs. Medical office assistant, medical transcription, retail pharmacy technician, occupational therapy aid, animal sciences, or one of our other programs, accounting, business management, legal assistant, electrician, automotive technician, aircraft mechanics, interior decorating, teacher aid, child daycare management. You can even earn your high school diploma. For over a century, ICS has made it possible for people to get a promotion or even start a new career. Get the training you need for the job you want. Don't wait. Call ICS Canada now for free information. There is no obligation and the call is free. Here are those programs again. Call 1-800-231-2816 or visit icslearn.ca. Ask about our tuition scholarship offer. That's 1-800-231-2816. Call now. Where do you think you're going, sweetheart? Just your friend. I don't think so. Look, I'm not staying for the night. I just have to talk to him. What room's he in? 12C. Yeah, he could use some help. Of course, uh, so could I.
For this kind of money, honey, you can stay the week. I keep that in mind for my next vacation. Just wanted to make sure you were alone. Been hearing noises out there in the hallway. What happened? I ran into a white marsh. Okay. We've got to take you to a doctor. What do you know? You know about Newfoundland. Seals. Yes. Turn. And the radiation. What? The crash site is hot. And somebody's trying to cover it up, literally. How okay. do you know? We were there. And I talked to somebody in the defense department who was clearly lying. Who? Oh. Colonel Devon. When did you talk to him? Just before I came here. Damn. We better get the hell out of here now. You'll kill yourself. Now. Just let me help you. I'm not going to leave you here. Listen to me. Devin wants you dead. But I can't do it, man. 
You hear me? You see, Devin was my guardian angel. This is now. He's gone too far. I can't take it anymore, man. I want to talk. Can you hear me? Stone? I have to talk. Confession might be good for your soul, Paul. But not for mine. Devin. I used the tracker to see how you were doing. You disappoint me, Bo. So what are you gonna do now, Devin? Kill us all. Done it before. You might like to know I picked up the money tonight. Do you know how close you came to pay dirt? Too bad. Wouldn't it make sense if car insurance rates were based on skill and experience? That way, the better drivers would get the better rates. So who are these better drivers? Drivers like you, 50 and over. Because your years of experience and good judgment make you a better driver. If you're 50 or over with a clean driving record, you are eligible for the experience advantage through Gray Power. To find out how much Gray Power's experience advantage could save you, Call us at 1-866-423-9173. Gray Power's Experience Advantage could save you up to $400 per year on your car insurance. To find out how much you could save, call now. Insure your car and home with Gray Power and save even more. Call 1-866-423-9173. site will be crawling with environmental specialists, all with Geiger counters. Oh, I think uh, you'll get what you started out after, Mr. Stone. As we speak, Bull is headed for a congressional committee to tell him all about his assignments for Devon. Well, I hope they're keeping a close eye on him. There's no telling who else was on the payroll. Well, you can rest assured that whoever is implicated, I don't intend to allow them to cover it up. <laughs> they sure won't want to admit in Washington that some bureaucrat like Devon could deal in nuclear arms to the highest bidder. My buddies died on that plane. They lost their lives for a whitewash. And we're gonna wake up tomorrow morning and nobody's gonna remember. I doubt that, Mr. Stone. With your persistence, you made sure it won't be forgotten. And I understand, uh, Mr. Chamon, you have enough material for a major cover article. I'm already working on the first draft. Good. I just might get you a publisher. Safe landing. Link out. Brad and I and Bull. 
The rest of the guys, they're like family. We always stuck up for each other, no matter what. Never thought I'd be the last one left. Appreciate you guys being there. Passion for truth should never be feared. Quest never discouraged at any price. <laughs>